Ghanaians and the world is happy to see new technological invention from Ghana finest engineer Kojo Safo Kantanka, who is turning Ghana agricultural business to high level. It's another good news for Ghana's agricultural sector as Ghanaian magnate Suffolk and Tanka has invented a standardized irrigation vehicle to help boost modern agriculture and agribusiness in the country. Ghana is one of the fewest African countries where agricultural mechanization has recently undergone rapid utilization with agricultural tools used for irrigation, cultivation, plowing and other activities, and widely adopted even among small farmers. So stick to this video if you like videos like this or more, then please subscribe and like my video to support me. Let's get started. Group of products including an irrigation farming track meant to boost crop production was exquisitely exhibited as this year's Kantanka Ghana Tech Expo of the Crystal ASA Formation in Accra, Ghana. The main technology, the Kantanka Nanze Bokwa, a multipurpose. With a 14,000 liter capacity for irrigation, organic fertilizer application and liquid pesticides, the new technology covers 40 acres of land at a speed of 5 kmh while it covers 120 acres of land at a speed of 11 km per hour. This was amongst the number of Kantanka vehicles, electrical and electronic items, agricultural machinery, artificial intelligence, haba, pharmaceutical and organic foods manufactured by Crystal as a formation of Ghana and other 22 exhibits from tertiary and secondary schools all on display at the annual event. The founder of the Kantanka Automobile Apostle could just a fool in his address said the group seeks to use the new irrigation technology to boost agriculture all year. The irrigation track was designed such that the irrigation system was adjustable so that the water could be applied to the small seedlings, especially at the nursery level and when the crops are picked up. You can also use this technology to apply water. It can be applied in and at the harvest where it grows to its fullest. The new machinery covers a stretch of 120 feet for both sides and very good for mechanized farming where there are larger areas of land for farming, he said he caught. For strong support from the media and Ghanaians in general through the use of native dialect and expertise, he said the notion that only those with first-class education were the most talented and often rewarded should be changed. Rather, the country needed to support people using the native knowledge and expertise to advance development in the country. The leader of the Kantanka Automobile, Nanoko Josefo Akovna, said there were 60 more reasons why the country needed to stop considering external loans alone as Africa's salvation and rather looking words not in speech but in action at mobilizing for change, especially in areas of science and technology. If innovation is problem-solving, we can no longer afford to put it at the bottom of our priorities on this continent, he said. There was the need to tap into the old African ways of highly advanced irrigation technologies and climate to develop the continent for the better. This Kantanka's new invention introduced is a clear indication that Ghana's agribusiness sector would lead to higher incomes and more job creation. Attracting private participation in the sector allows Ghana to compete globally. Such agribusiness development path paves the way for economic growth, structural transformation and improves technical skills, which in turn can capitalize economic activities and connect major sectors in the Ghanaian economy. This agricultural mechanization would be a game. In this industrial space, if you like contents like this, be sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this.